um quickly i'll just um tell you guys how why models and also youth choose a platform instead of others see all platforms in nigeria they are good though. but 99 percent of platform the kind of business they do you won't like it the thing is that they don't give out their price some they frame the price they'll say okay they're giving out a car they'll carry a car and flash they'll not give why people come for us is because they know that our car we give out our cars we give out the money if we say we are giving out this we give it out if we say this event is going to be on tv for 30 days it's going to be on tv if we say this is coming this is coming if i, I learned it from someone uh, when i was starting a friend of mine told me that star guys for you to become different in this, in, in this industry what you know you can do you can give out that's put put it don't put celebrity is coming when they are not coming okay. for your show don't be following them to do showbiz do you understand so he said that's what will help your brand if you say you are giving out a car and two million naira, make sure that's what your strength have to give and that's why people come for our event and we are the only people that camp 120 models in africa we are the only people that camp such crowd of models in africa why is because if we say we are giving out this we are giving out this so people used to surprise guy how did they register for an event how do i think how do they get people i say oh sir we say what we can give we don't do um business that we say um we are giving out a car we're gonna arrange somebody that will come and win the car we don't do those things we are trustworthy in our business that's what i've taken us so far Thank okay you. um uh, i don't want to mention names Big brands in Nigeria, you'll be shocked if I mention them, but I won't mention them. Very big brands, so big brands that you know in Nigeria, if you see what brands. they are doing, you will shed tears. They'll promise car, they'll carry, they'll bring the car at the, on the grand finale. After that day, no car. Those people that want this car, they'll start complaining, crying bitterly. That why is it like this now? But they can't, you can't do anything. This part, they are, you are on that day. We have signed contract. So they are spoiling, the event. they are spoiling this brand. Bribery and corruption is taking over the entertainment industry and it is very 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 bad people that genuinely winning this thing okay give this this like me if i'm doing if we are doing our event you see my winners for three years ago coming with their car so if even though we, we, we don't give nonsense car we give good cars my winner that won most than three years ago joy yakilomi she's today she's driving that car, car. She used to come with a car in school. She be driving the car with the logo. My winner of uh, um, 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 Face of Mages housemate that we did the the two years ago on she came with a car last year. The winner this year drives his car to Kalaba. He's flexing his car. He's cruising his thanking car. Thanking us. Thanking us. Today. And the car brings more publicity to us. So people see that these guys, if they say they give car, they give car. If they say they give. They say they are doing media tour. They are doing it. Because all the papers I use my press conference, I they, when they publish, I post it, you see it. So we don't just talk and we not do. We talk and do. I think that's why we are different and why people are rushing us. Because this company, they talk and they do. Okay, um, I'll say um, why people choose our events to others is because of the credibility of a company. And also, we are trustworthy. If we say we are giving out car in an event, we are giving out this cash price, we give it out. Most Nigerians are not credible. Most people doing events in Nigeria are not credible. They used to do magumago. You know, in Nigeria, we call it magumago. They will promise they are giving out car. They are giving out money. At the grand finale, it's a lie. They will bring the car and flash out. They now collect the car from the owner. They just, in fact, they just went and paid someone to bring the car and flash. They don't give up the car that's why our event is the only our model event is the only camp we have we would have come the largest garden of model in africa we come close to 120 people used to ask how do you people get models to register for your event it's because we are credible and we are trustworthy there's something um, um one um the owner of wasabiya tv okay no the gem of wasabiya tv told us he says star guys he's a white man he says star guys do you know I like you guys? You guys are trustworthy. That's why I can do any business with you people. You are the only Nigerians I've ever seen that is trustworthy and credible. That's why I decide 
to bring in Wasabia TV to your event for us to partner. And we have been doing different businesses, different businesses. Introduce his family to us. Has it something that have never happened? You have never done it to anybody. Introduce his family to us. We talk as friends. And it's like, I'm his, in fact, I'm the, it's, it's like I'm one of the big staff in Wasabia TV. If I enter, they say, hey, Ogapiki, Ogapiki. That's right. It's because of, <clears throat> we are credible and trustworthy. Okay, um, to add to that, what is really spoiling, I will not mention names, top names, top big names in this Nigeria, in this country, they are not credible. What they see, if they anything that promise, they are not honest to it. They don't keep to it. Most of these big brands, these big names that you know, they don't like spoiling the industry. Imagine promising um, a, your star price, a car, and on that day, you bring a car, you flash, you collect the, you collect the car back. And those, and the winner will be lamenting, crying, that they're not giving the car, go to an event, she'll be complaining. That is, Nigerians, eh, they're at really least spoiling her name outside there. And all of you know that people see Nigeria as it, but they are good and genuine and credible Nigerians and credible company, company that you can work with in this Nigeria. But it's just because the bad ones are already making so much noise, loud noise everywhere. See why people rush to us because of our credibility. Our company is very reliable. What we say, we do. We don't just tell you we'll do this and we'll not do it. If you come for our event, most of our winners three years ago, they drive their car to my event. They park it. You see like four cars carrying my company name, my logo. You surprise that. When did this one win this one? When did this one win this one? You'd be surprised. It gives me joy when I see most of my winners parking their cars in my event. Two years ago, three years ago. And we don't just give... We give good cars. We don't just give any our cars. We give good cars. So, I will tell you that why people are rushing to us is because we are, really, we are reliable and we are credible. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, um, let me just add um, one thing to it. Um, you see, our idea of giving out cars is... Um, we want our cars to be everywhere in Nigeria, in the streets of Nigeria, everywhere. Branded. Pass, pam, you see models on Ella. Pass, pam, you see um, piece of movies. We want our cars to be everywhere so that when we have achieved that, I'll be fulfilled. That's why if I, if I have more sponsors and partners, I'm giving out five, ten cars for ten winners. I want to want to create difference. And that's what this media um, is about to do. We are creating difference. So that people will know that they are, we still have credible Nigerians in this country. Thank you. Okay, um, I'll say in the next five years, our reality show is going to be a household name in which a Christian dad, a pastor, wants his son or his daughter that has talent to go and contest for that event, not like others. Because of the credibility, the, the, the credibility of that event, and also the um, 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 good morals, the, the good morals we are portraying. That's okay. Um, I will say in the next five years, we will, we will take over the country, Nigeria. Our entertainment outfit will be number one in Nigeria as a whole. If you, if you come into this country and say, mention two or three credible entertainment company that I can work with or I can sponsor or I can be partner with our company will be number one that is where I'm seeing our company in the, in, in, in the next five years and we have we would have empowered different different lots of Nigerian creative Nigerian youth and this youth would have employed lots of people in their own firm so we are not only just um, 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 b getting big we want to want to, to want to expand nigerian youth we want them to have this mentality of becoming self-employed and let them create job opportunities for other nigerians so once if you are doing our events we'll bring out we'll be boastful that we have empowered fifty thousand young nigerian youth and they are doing very well and they are supporting the econo nigerian economy okay um, let me let me add to that um, um in the next five years uh, I want our our event is going to like what we are doing. I'm seeing our event. Any man or woman, that, any boy or girl, you that comes to our event, automatically you become a celebrity. That's one. And number two is 
our event after our event all our winners or you come for our events we'll have a round table like see you round table because this one will have established have established have established we are come together and be talking wow man far back this is this, better than Nigeria. Yeah, far, far back so this, this is how it was we we'll now come together and think of what to do for nigeria government as a whole to either create job opportunities for, for, other, youth. for other youth Okay, briefly, I'll just talk about the projects we have for 2020. Currently, we are working on a cinema movie in partnership with Wazobia TV and Wazobia Max. The film is called The Twist. It's one, it will be one of the biggest cinema movie in Nigeria. And we'll commence shooting by next month, which we are planning towards. And our project for the year, we have um, The Murders on the Islands in 6, which registration is ongoing. And we are giving out a car. One million naira and a plot, plot of land for that project, and we have our house of models. That's our yearly event, and our face of major housemates this year season four will be one of the biggest. It's tagged the, the game, game of, of throne. It will be one of the biggest for this year, and already we are working on sponsorship from big brands, which we are already writing them, and this will be one of the biggest and most fruitful year for the company this year. And, and the X Mass vibe with the widows. And also, um, we are working on our award, Africanic Achievers Award. Yeah. You know, recognizing top dignitaries in Africa that have achieved so much and also help others. And also, runway on hundred models on runway. It's going to be together with models on the island. Hundred models on runway. We just we, we did the boot camp last year. This year we are doing the grand finale. It's going to be in Orienta Hotel, one of the best hotels in Nigeria. So. And also a fashion magazine. It's going to, it's going to be out this season, season yeah, seven, sure. both seven. It's going to be out this year. So that's the project we have lined up for this year. Um, talking about the award, I'm going to start with this one. Twin Image Concept as Entertainment Brand of the Year. Um, House of Vicky J. This particular award was given to us by one of our he came for our platform he's one of the contestants for house of for face of images tv reality show he took sixth position like his number six position his fifth runner up he he told us that he want to do an event we empower him i told him i teach him he came to do i was in the house every day i was telling him on, on how to succeed in a pageant to become a pageant guru and at the grand finale he gave us this. This was the award he did. He gave this award to different celebrities and he recognized us with this award. Also, this one too. Same thing. One of my king models on the island did a pageant and also did an award show. We empower him to become a CEO. He gave us this award too. And um, the last one, the last one, um, these two, um, this one too, this one, this one. Okay, this yeah. one of my. This is same. This award from my platform. From my platform, two of them came for the show together. This and this. This one did uh, um um did a pageant too. We empower him to do a pageant and now he succeed in his pageant and also an award show. That's why we recognize with this award too. Okay, I'll talk about this. This um. We won the best pageant organizer of the year, Blue Carpet TV. This is um, a show. We we help him out in the show. We, we were paid to manage his event. And he, 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 he contacted us because he has seen our credibility. They call us pageant gurus. <laughs> in, in the business. So he called us to manage his, his own event. He paid us for it and he still gave us an award to, 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 to appreciate us and what we are doing in the industry. Um, um, this this one is called best modeling agency of the year, you know the best modeling agency of the year. That's how this award was given to us. We also empower this guy too, but there's something else to call us. There's to call us pageant gurus. There's no pageant that if we touch, if you yeah you might have been doing pageant though you will be losing money, losing money, losing money. But if we touch your pageant as the pageant pageant guru, you make money and your pageant will have a rebrand. That's why. Okay, um, this is African Living Legendary Award that we're giving. I think this was um, two years ago. The man 
just saw a number somewhere called us to come help us, help us manage his event. When he go through our profile, he was amazed that wow, you guys are a really living legend. And we helped him um, fix his show. He was so surprised. We managed his event for him and he gave us our African legend, living legend. Okay, this one is called um, Dega Achievers Award Modeling Event Entrepreneur of the Year. Emmanuel and Joseph Etem, CEO to Image Concept. This event was presented to us by um, one of the senators in Nigeria, um, this one, Elliot, yes. to present to us to, um, to recognize us as the, one of the best entrepreneur, entrepreneur of the year. This. Okay, um, this two award was given us two Good different job. years. It's called Stars Award. Award. Um, we're giving us one of the supportive brand of the year. Then you know that we are really supportive. The first award gave us, uh, he, 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 he said, we are okay, we want the most supportive brand of the year. Because this guy, we all I put it when he came to Lagos, he had nobody, and he, he contacted us that he wanted to do an a show here in Lagos, and we put him through. We tell him the basics. We were paid for that too, and after the show, he was so wow. I give us the award. Next, the next year, give us this he give us the same award. He said, "You guys are young in the rest of the year because when you see when you see what we Success. are doing." You be shocked. Last year, As he wanted to give up. Say, please, say, no, no, okay. so I not say your, <coughs> your own award and fool my chef. I said no, please, it's okay. These two you're giving us is okay. Okay, so okay, this one is top Niger music award star guys. You know, young achievers award. You know, we have achieved a lot, so people recognize us with award. This is young, yeah, you are young, young achievers award. But am I young? <laughs> okay, and this one is um, Queens College Africa. All the old queens in the whole of Africa, they came together and gave us this award. Too much concept as most African most creative pageant organizers. We are talking about pageant business in Nigeria and pageant Africa. Rules. <laughs> we must mention us. These guys um, and all queens in all Africa they came together and they appreciated this award last year. And I think they, they they really want us to involve us in their events for this year because what the, the kind of idea we are giving them, their head is just as if we are busting their head. Okay, um, this is um, Reality Ambassador Youth of the Year. This is from Abuja. And they gave so many celebrities this award, and we were privileged to be one of the youth that was recognized as an ambassador, youth royalty ambassador of the year. This is from Abuja. Direct from Abuja. Okay, this um, African Icons Award 2018. Okay, it was given to us. You uh, said Abuja. African Icon, I iconic youth ambassador. Of yeah, the year. it was given to successful Abuja. youth. It's given to youth, I think some top government officials, celebrities, comedians. We have to flew into Abuja just to get this award because um, the man, the organizers, they saw what we are doing and they call upon us as star guys. You guys, are you guys, guys, we yeah, said you guys have been empowered with youth and you guys are an ambassador and icon in this our country. So this award was given to us. Okay, I'm saying this one was given to us direct from Ghana. You've been nominated as duly recognized as best twins entrepreneur of the year for the second edition of African Twins Fashion. We recognize um, by twins in Ghana, you know, for the best twins that is uh, uh, as doing well in, in, in entrepreneurship. So we're giving this from Ghana. We weren't, we weren't able to attend the event. So we sent someone to get this event, to get the award for us. And also last year to the, they want to give us another, you know, I went to Ghana for a vacation, my twin. So people that have been, so many people that have been, you know, looking, praying for us to come to Ghana, they came to Ghana, different events. Please, I want to manage, I want to manage, I want to manage. I said, please, I came here for vacation, no, three days, so please let me enjoy my vacation and go. In fact, this year, most of them have nominated us for awards in Ghana. So this one was given to me. Okay, I'll say this is one of our, this is our first award, 2015, our first award so far, I value this award. They said uh, we are uh, star guys, it most creative art of the year see this creativity no be nice that too don't they you know this is my first award so far and we're giving this award by kings this is called kings award um the guy then we were doing our local level when we were just starting the guys saw the creativity in us and we were doing very well in that hood so when they were putting this award up they called us they came to call us and come to our office that start guys you guys creative. are very creative. Your event is very creative. It's not like a usual I have event. A surprise for you guys. So when we went for the event, this was really a really surprise. We were shocked. And you, this, and this is our first award so far. And um, talk about this one. This is um, the the award we got last year. 
this event, the Lagos State Government, Democracy Lagos State Government. Youth Roundtable. It is one of my biggest award. Why I call it my biggest award because it was given to us. We are most big dig- dignitaries in, in Lagos State. In Lagos, another Lagos State, were present. We have top celebrities from outside Nigeria that came for this this event, and they give just three people award. And the three people that give this award, we are the smallest. You know where where he said smallest. We are the youngest. Not even small. We are the youngest. There's only boys. The rest are men. And the rest, they are richer than us. But our creativity took us to that. Our idea. God took us to that level that we're giving award with top dignitaries and we're just three. I think three or four. Three, three. three four. Four. That we're giving this okay, award. Four. four. And uh, I was I was, was, the I, was of... I was really honored to have this award governor um, as a um, um, award of excellence. Award of excellence. I uh, you see for for uh, for your outstanding contribution to youth development, development in Nigeria. Nigeria, that's most of our events. We have contributed. We have contributed a lot life to of youth, us. and we have top people that came for that event. I was really grateful, and it's an honor to get this award. So that, um, and we were given one award in Abuja. That was last December. We could not attend, attend the event. Yes, I think yes. the, the award is in Lagos already, and it it will be coming to us soon. We we'll contact and get the award. Okay, um, I, I'll say. Um, I want to thank God for this award because. Barely eight years in Lagos, and we got this. And if you check these awards, it's either Young Entrepreneur or or a um, best modeling, best agency, modeling agency, agency or creative. So you understand that what we have been saying in this interview is worth it. Okay, um, I will I will advise um young entrepreneurs or Nigerian youth out there. Most of you you don't really understand what is in this business. First, your creativity, your idea, don't joke with your idea. Secondly, you guys really don't really understand this part that I want to say now. God is the God factor. If you are a Muslim, pray very well. And put your God first in whatsoever you do. But if you are a Christian, if you are a Christian, I'm a Christian, if you are a Christian, put God first in whatsoever. I have so a lot of testimony in my business. If I'm going for meetings, the kind of challenge I face. But when I pray, I used to pray before I go for meetings and God take over. See, if God is in your business, if God is in the forefront of your business, my brother, you will not fail. You will not fail because no matter how we have faced a lot of critics, critics, let me small, from our, our, our colleague that they say, you can just come into Lagos and you, you are taking over. They criticize us like say tomorrow day. But you see, when who God have un- anointed, hmm? yeah. no man can cause. In every year, I I, 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 I I commit my business every of my project to the hands of God. And I'm very how I put it, I'm very diligent in what I do. I don't mess around. Most people in this opposition they sleep around anyhow, they use girls anyhow, they 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 they, 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 they use it to, to how I put it. You want to sleep with young girls to promise them this and you not give them this, you using young girls here and be sleeping with them, sleeping around with them. I don't do that. People know me that I like money, I'm a businessman. Take your pussy and go bring the money. You understand? I, I don't I don't joke with my business. I don't sleep around. I don't do I I, I strongly believe in God and I, I believe in my faith. You understand? So I, I don't joke with my faith. I don't joke with my faith. I, I tell every young youth, if you serve God, go close to God and commit, pray in your business and be very genuine and don't mess around with people you work with. Your business should be your business. If you want to have a girlfriend, have your personal girlfriend. Don't bring your relationship into your business. Be okay. spell the two to get spell the two aside. Okay, okay. Well, what I'll say is that see, you have to have an altar. If you are a demonic person, have your own altar. If you are a God fearing person, have an altar. Because it's your altar that will speak against evil altar in your life. Just understand that. That fact is very important. Now, having an altar, what I mean is that have a time from this time to this time. I'm with God. God what is five, what is two, what is three minutes? God value that thing. So now that's the altar that will speak against, that will stand for you, that will make everything go well for you. But if you don't have an altar, you don't know God, you don't know devil. Oh yeah, now nah. you be you come to pass the world. So just believe in God. Okay. Thank finally, you. before I, I want to appreciate some people that have, 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 have um that have brought us this far. First, I want to tell um, young creative Nigerians in the diaspora 
those people that are abroad, those people that are outside country, even those that are, that are in Lagos and you you have a family in the village, just have one word for you. Always remember home. Always remember home. Remember your father, remember your mother, and take care of your parents. You see, there is nothing like your mom praying for you or your father praying for you. Most people are the, the are just, people that travel abroad, they will forget their parents, forget their family, they won't even send money to their mom or take care of their mom or know how their mom is well being. Let me tell you, you see this country, Niger, now we get our mom. No matter how you go, you still come back. If you like spend 200 years, oh God, since you're alive, if you die, you still come back to this country. You understand? So don't forget your background, don't forget your home. I think this this um, December just passed. We traveled to where we started from. We were selling ice fish, and when we went there, people, some of our women that are still there, they shouted. We drove in there. Hey, twist! No, not be this. So life can be like this. So you guys are the, see. Yes, so we become a source of inspiration to some of their kids that are in the barrack. You know, if you're a barrack boy, you know what I'm talking about. You're in that world. Don't cage your destiny. You understand? So. I'm just advising young um, Nigerian youth, those are in country and those are other country. Always remember your roots, always remember home, always send money to your parents, send money home, take care of your mother, call your mom, be, be help your younger ones, help your sister. Don't be harsh on them because you are dead. Does not mean me don't mean that you will not climb there. Try to carry others along. And now let me thank those people that can thank. I'll thank people that can thank. First, I'll thank Almighty God for for bringing us to this level. We are nothing. He is the one that blessed the little thing we are doing to become what it is today. Secondly, I will thank Beauty Wall. Okay, I will thank my first. I will thank my elder brother, our first son, Mr. Elvis Tim, the CEO of Covenant to my company Wall Limited. He is the one that brought us to Lagos. We are staying with him before God finally blessed us where we are. Um, I thank him for 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 not being like other elder brothers. We used to relate like friends. If you come here now. But the last one is the first. If you are talking, you think we are friends. That is how we relate in our house. He, he, he's been very supportive when we were starting, when things were rough. He's been little he had his support and push. And the wife together, God, have, that, that have been, you know, all I put it, they have been the process of our blessing. Thank there are some stunts that I will show you that, you, that, 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 will, that will strengthen you. You understand? So I said they always that they push to our blessing. Now, thank Beauty Wall, Beauty Wall, the lady. She has been of amazing to us. She has been wonderful. She's been very amazing when we were starting. Our first house in the Lagos, she paid it. She and her husband. And the, the family has been very amazing. I'll thank um, Mr. Abba Toduma. The, the first brand, our first brand doesn't went deal in Lagos. They signed us. The family they took us like a son, like their son. The office we were using then, three study building, they give us for free. We continued the whole office, doing our training for over three years. No, we not pay one house rent, not pay one office rent there. So they have um, been blessing to us and amazing to um, us. I'm I'm going to thank um, Dr. Stanley. That man has been so amazing. He came to our projects. If I say Ogasa, we must do this thing together. I need money. I don't negotiate with him. He will give me. That's the kind of person he is. He came to our project and he loves us very well. Any project I'm doing. Dr. Stanley supports the project. I want to thank him very much for his, you know, it's not everybody that will see, that will keen to someone's project, see youth and keen to his project. So I want to thank him very much. I want to say, may God bless him. Okay, um, I want to say this word to Nigerian youth. The energy people are putting into fraud, that energy people are putting into Yahoo Yahoo, channel that same energy into business and you will see how you grow. Now, I want to tell you guys, we in Nigerian youth, we are very, very blessed. We are blessed with ideas. You can see someone hacking a whole bank. My dear, see that kind of, that, that, hey, I'll be shocked that someone is hacking a whole full bank. Such talent. Oh my God. That's a mad talent that you have there. Can't you channel it into something good? If you can think of how to create a software to, to, to harm somebody, create a software that will better someone's life. So my advice to you, Nigerian youth, you guys are blessed. You guys have talents. Channel your talent into something that will better the society. Look for something that is lacking in this country. There are so many things that is lacking in this country. Look for solutions to people's problem, to companies' problem. 
and you see how you make money. You understand? Now, be very credible when you are doing your business. Be, real, be reliable, be honest, and be humble. Don't be proud. Be very humble. Be very loyal. You understand? Now, your ideas. Don't keep procrastinating your ideas as an entrepreneur. Kick off. If you have one couple, even if you don't have money, kick off. Thank God now there's social media. We have Facebook, we have Instagram. If you have any vision, go on Facebook or go on Instagram. Explain your vision. Tag people that you know that can start or push. Or call people around. How far? Come, you, come, you, come, you, come. Have a pure mind. Let's kick off this project. We don't have money. Let's kick off. Let's go and meet people that will this. Let's start up. Start up something. Don't be idle. Our education in this country is very good. But you need more than education to succeed in this country. There is no job anywhere to... There is no white collar job anywhere for you. You have to think of something to do that will better your life and employ other Nigerian youths. Think big. Don't think small. Thank you so much. Okay, my, my twin has said it all. But what I want to say is the root, the key. If you don't know God, no devil. Because that is the beginning of everything. Now, most Nigerian youths, you might... They might have done what you do in your father's place. You work tired. Why, why are you shouting no job, no job, no job? Check your background. Because they have done one thing that anything you touch will not prosper. So it's either, either you owe Juju or you owe God. That's the two source. And I've not seen, if, if you owe God very well, you can't be doing Yahoo Yahoo or be doing cyber fraud. Do you know why people don't progress? Because you don't have good intention in business. If you have a genuine intention and you don't have that mindset of want to scam others, you see that God bless you. God will always give you money for food to be eating till that appointed time he has kept for you for your business to blow. Just try and think and see that you don't have money, you don't have money, but you used to feed every day, you chop, you chop. God is keeping you, he's training you so that when the money comes, you'll be able to manage it too. Not now when the money will now come, you'll now be doing, but you have to be consistent in that little business you're doing. Because for you to be blessed is through that little thing you are doing. That's why you present for a big sponsor, for an investor to invest money in. Be consistent. Have a focus. With that, you make it. Thank you. Finally, I must have to say this. You know, in our country today, if you are working for somebody, Nigerians, they feel they are too smart. They feel they are over smart. Imagine you, you working for your boss. You want you're you 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 looking for a way to steal from him and run away. Nigerian mind the way the way our Nigerians they think eh, is kind of very crazy. You're working with someone, you want to over you want to overtake that person with speed. No patience. You don't have patience. So as a youth, if you are if you are already working for someone, don't be too in a haste to make it. Let that person freely allow you to go and let him bless you. Don't steal from him. Don't try to, to, to spoil his name. Don't try to criticize him outside. Live a pure life. Live a pure life with your boss. Serve your boss very well. If, if your boss lay on you and said, God bless you, go in peace. That alone is a big blessing to your, to your life. Yeah. So don't try to steal from him or try to collect from him. Don't try to backbite him or spoil him and give some other people. Try to live a rightful life so that even God be pleased with you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, I want to specially thank Platform Media International from Canada. I'm very happy. The the the, the, the owner of this um, 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 of this company coming back to this to to his, his to his country to to pick success story of people they have uh, they, 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 they have achieved a lot in this in this part of the country to inspire those at the diaspora this is a very good concept and he has been there for for 20 years and he's still coming back to this country god bless them for trying to help young nigerian youth and trying to to to, to showcase them to the world i said you guys are doing a great job i'm so happy and blessed coming to Nigeria to interview Nigerians, successful Nigerians, to, to, to use their story to empower people. You guys are doing amazingly. I'm very grateful. Thanks for helping others, for using other success stories to affect other people's life. 
thanks for being there and thanks for coming back home to 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 empower and, and to help other people to inspire them and traveling back to showcase this part of this country to the world god bless you okay i want to say platform media international now you be the best for best entertainment outfits you go carry first yes so you tight pass all the rest no one fit come contests see eh? this is the best you could ever imagine just keep that dime don't touch that dime keep watching platform media international that the best so far i've ever seen thanks for being there and thanks for showing love and thanks for coming around from canada i want to say thank you very much it's the best tv station you could ever imagine